Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is DKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 146 and I am sick so I am not going to show my face for a while. This upcoming month of November all my reads will be like this. I'm sorry you guys will not see my face for a bit until I am feeling a lot better. Um, all right, uh, due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my reads on my private channel where there's no censorship, no cat logo blurs, and you guys also gain early access to my content. They're all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's see here. After Henry gave me my own office, my aides adapted to my way of working, allowing tasks to be done more quickly. I started exchanging brief letters with Grand Duke Kaufman to advance the trade deal. Everyone thought it strange that we were writing to each other several times a day instead of meeting face to face. I explained it away by saying there wasn't much to discuss yet. However, I'll have to meet him sooner or later. Just when I thought the excuse was wearing thin, Yuan and Merlani came by to submit their reports. Did you carry out this research together? Pardon? Pardon? I don't know who copied who, but that was a mistake. I'm disappointed in both the person who did such a poor job and the person who copied their work without making any changes. You both dismissed. Uh, uh huh? I'll take care of this matter myself. Uh, dum. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Neither of them seemed like the type. Were their reports that bad? No, it was just a ruse. A ruse? I see. You think that the person who comes to you first is the one who copied the report, right? Oh. <laughs> You'll have to pray that it's not Miss Merlaney. Uh? Uh. Oh, by the way, have you heard the rumor? Rumor? You know, the one about the ghost wearing a crown. He is said to haunt the east eastern corridor every night. F oh. I heard the servants talking about it in the afternoon. I see it's already breached his ears. Some people say that it's the late king. It would support the rumor that his majesty was the one who poisoned the late king. Every country has tales of ghostly encounters, but I did hope that Henry wouldn't hear about it. Krista, Krista may have left, but she still has people who are loyal to her. Did they fabricate all this just to get back at us? My queen, are you scared of ghosts? Pardon? Why do you suddenly want to know? <laughs> if you are, I can stay with you from sunset to sunrise. Uh, there's no need for that. I'm not scared. So <gasps> You're not scared of ghosts? Not really. Wow. The truth is, I'm the one who's scared of ghosts. I believe in ghosts, so... Will you stay by my side? Uh? From sunset to sunrise? It sounds like you really scared of them. Uh, then I guess I have no other choice. Navier ghost versus my queen! Dun dun! I'll have to uncover the truth about this ghost of myself. The Remarried Empress, episode 146. I wanted to investigate without Henry knowing, so I pretended I had some extra work I needed to finish and avoided the marital bedchamber. Can we bathe together? I'm scared. Oh, no. I felt bad lying to him, but I'm doing this for Henry's sake. The reason the ghost is rumored to be the late king was that it was said to appear near the room he often used in the eastern side of the palace. If I go there at this hour, search carefully. There must be some kind of apparatus. Ugh. What if we encounter the ghost? Oh, ghosts don't exist. And even if it does appear, it won't frighten me. 
Really? Yeah, he told me he believed in ghosts and he acted like he was terrified of them. Huh. How should I approach things if the ghost turns out to be Lily King? Throw salt over your shoulder. Ugh. Am I seeing another side to my husband? <sighs> She's uncovering the ugly side of him. The next morning. My queen, I think you worked too hard last night. You don't look well. Uh, he has no idea that I saw him in the corridor last night. Hmm. Hmm? Are you still scared of ghosts? Uh, yes, I'm terrified of them. But I'm not frightened when I'm with you. <laughs> you give me courage. One thing is for sure. The Henry I know and the Henry other people know are a little different. Rimwell the Eastern Empire. It's been four days since I arrived in Moray. His Majesty probably thinks I'm resting just like I was until yesterday. I want to visit an old friend without letting anyone know. I want you to act as my decoy. Very well, Your Majesty. Oh, it's Rashta. I forgot. I was told he should be here around. He should be around here. Oh, stop, stop, Vex. Oh, do you remember me? Rashta, what are you doing here? I know it can't have been easy for you. I heard that you didn't blame me. To, oh, even when the Viscount retaliated against you for helping me escape. Don't worry about that. I just want you to be happy. <laughs> Vex, I know I can trust this man. What brings you here? I thought you were doing well in the palace. Well... What's wrong? Do you need my help? Just say the word and I'll help you with anything. <laughs> oh, then do you know any good assassins? Yep. Yeah. There's an assassin's guild near the outskirts of this area. You just need to show them you have the funds and they'll take care of the rest. Go to the end of the corridor and not the room in the middle. It just looked like a normal store from the outside. This place is a little strange. Oh. The looks in their eyes, it seemed filled with murderous intent. Um... Are you the one who will take on any job for money? Uh, do you know who Fix is? Does that mean you can even kill Fix if I give you the money? Oh. Even her own friend? Oh my gosh. Can you guys believe that? Her friend who would who literally helped her escape, you know, to now to be where she is today. Now she's asking if this person can also assassinate her friend who helped her. What a horrible person. What is she up to? Who is she trying to eliminate? Like, I know, is it Viscount Lotatia that she wants to get rid of? And Labetti? Ah, uh, Rashta, Rashta, Rashta. Why are you such trashta? Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!